We've already told you about the Animaniacs creator, Tom Ruger, not being amused that he was not part of the writing group for the Animaniacs revival. But it's not the only reason. Some fans just cannot stand the new Animaniacs. The devil is in the details. The very first episode of the revived Animaniacs give us a witty song with Yako, Wacko, and Dot called Reboot It, where the Warner Brothers and Warner sister mock Hollywood's tendency to reboot successful movies, animations, and series in order to get maximum profit. The song is full of irony and smart jokes, which seems to fit the Animaniac style perfectly. Yet the fans noticed a small detail that made some of them so angry they began to demand the cancellation of Animaniacs. What was it that disappointed them so much? The frame with two posters. Johnny the Beginning and Johnny 2 Telling Lies, the second of which depicted Johnny Depp holding scissors. Fans saw this as taking sides in the conflict between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. The poster seems like a reference to Heard's claim that Depp chopped off his own finger, while Depp said that it was Heard who almost cut his finger off. The Telling Lies part makes it look as if Warner Brothers supports Amber in her accusations, and they've labeled Johnny Depp as a liar and abuser. Oh. Weren't those two posters just a reference to the Johnny Johnny Yes Papa Nursery Rhyme animation made by Lulu Kids? It's a wildly popular kid song about a toddler attempting to eat sugar and trying to hide it from his father. And its lyrics contain the words telling lies. Hmm, I severely doubt that the Johnny Depp reference is that innocent, especially as Animaniacs is known for its sharp satire. I think that it combined two references in one frame, and I bet it was done on purpose. So the fans that accuse Warner Brothers of taking sides in the Depp vs. Heard conflict can't quite prove it. And the creators of the show can just say fans got it all wrong and point to the Nursery Rhymes animation. Wow, that's quite… devious. Yes, Animaniacs can be devious. However, there was nothing devious about that funny incident with a phone number in episode 6 of the Animaniacs revival. What incident? Well, Hulu had to take down episode 6 of the new Animaniacs for a while because of a phone number that was displayed in a brainstorming TV commercial. Some of the fans wanted to see whether it was fake or not and actually dialed it. Not only did it turn out to be real, but it was actually a phone number to a sex hotline. Oh my! I hope that no kids were among the fans who decided to call it. Well, Hulu decided not to take any chances, after a few complaints, and edited the number out of the episode. I wonder whether they are going to regret not editing the Johnny Depp reference out of the rebooted song. Oh, I doubt it, Mr. Fully Lover. Controversy brings in more views. And isn't that the goal all reboots are after? And what about you? Do you like the Animaniacs reboot? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Cartoon Junkies!